All right, uh, welcome to low budget shooting. Today I'm going to be chronographing some 308 rounds. I've been having issues with my 308. I've been using these shitty rounds from this Spanish Armory from 1977 for years. I finally reloaded some new ones, and I want to see how they're going to do. This is my Remington 700 PSS. I got this years ago, back in the 90s. This gun was just used, I think, in that movie Mother, if I'm not mistaken, as a sniper rifle. But anyways, or one one new movie just came out. Um, <clears throat> no, it was in the movie Sniper, as a matter of fact. <laughs> the Sniper 4. It's kind of like Jaws. There's like 12 episodes. We're just going to, I'm going to try and see if it's on paper and uh, um, using the Spanish Armory rounds right now. This has a 7 ounce trigger in it. It's really nice. It's a Timney trigger. <clears throat> okay, that's beautiful. Those are one inch, just those two right there. So, And they're a little, just a, a hair high, at about two inches high at 100 yards, which is perfect for this gun. Okay, yesterday uh, when I was uh, shooting, I had some problems with the new rounds that I had just reloaded. And uh, um, so I had to come back. The, basically, they weren't locking up. So this was the first shell that I used uh, when I was reloading. This is the um, <clears throat> that I'd resized. So I'm going to put this in here and I'll show you what happened. So when I went to lock it up, you'll notice that, that the bolt um, is not locking all the way so that told me that either the brass that I bought from the auction <laughs> wasn't really 308 but all the measurements that I took on it beforehand were or B something happened in the sizing process so <clears throat> so what I did is and I'm going to show you guys in a minute where I resized this is one of the ones that I resized right here and now you'll see that when it goes in now now the the bolt locks down so Whenever you're reloading, um, there is a way that you can prevent this from happening. And I didn't have uh, this particular tool um, when I first started resizing these and I bought it afterward. So this right here is a, a sizing die. And what you do, you do is you put your shell in. Now what you'll notice is when I'm putting this in, you'll notice that it's not flush. It, it doesn't, it, the shell does not go all the way in. Uh, so, what you're supposed to do, be able to put your shell in after you resize it, and it should drop right in, and it should be perfectly flush. When you put your hand over it, it should be flush. And the ones, you can see right here that it is, and, and, it, and it'll fall right out. Where this other one, when I put it in, it's not flush. Come here, I'm going to focus. There we go. It's not flush. And uh, um, and if you try to push it, it will not fall right out. Okay, so <clears throat> what was happening, when I bring this shell up, you're going to notice, now this, this right here is the uh, base of the sizing die, all right? Now what's supposed to happen when the shell plate carrier comes up, <clears throat> it should fit all the way flush. Now what was happening, when I first set this thing, there was a little gap in between it, and you could see light in the in the back of it she was just about that much gap that was in it uh when and i figured well that'll be all right well guess what it wasn't all right so this was the shell that wouldn't fit in the shell plate carrier before now what i'll do is i'll push this all the way in and see now how the gap <coughs> is closed to the bottom of the shell and so now when i pull it out okay so this was the one that i showed you earlier and so now we can take this and put it in our sizing die and it should drop all the way in and there you go now it's all the way in flush so <clears throat> that's uh what i did wrong so let's go out to the range and check it out again we're back now with the fixed rounds that are now chambering and we can actually chronograph these guys and see what they're doing Primer 
of looks good. 2,700 feet per second. That's exactly where I was looking for. Man, that's a nice group so far. That one didn't kick as much. Ah, still 2,700 feet per second. That's perfect. Man, this group is incredible. One more for a five shot group. I'm telling you what, I got three holes down there that are probably less than an inch. And I think two bullets went inside the same hole. So, my average is 2,733 feet per second uh, with these rounds. Anyways, I hope you learned something from here, the importance of sizing your brass properly. And uh, uh, we'll get back with the 700. I got to tell you, I've been shooting those crap Spanish Armory uh, ammo from here. Uh, in this gun I've never really put anything good through it until now and, and I haven't really even used this gun that much I like the group that this held and I think that I could probably do a little better when I slow these rounds down just a hair anyways we'll we'll show you the the results uh, subscribe below if this was helpful for you and you enjoy the content I appreciate y'all watching shoot safe and have a good one see ya bye